I really hope you've been enjoying looking at all of the different modes and getting a good idea of what they sound like. And ideally, you might even be wanting to make use of the modes in your own music. If that was the case, chances are at some point you're going to need to do something called transpose the modes. And that's just a, a long word to mean move the mode to a different note. We've learned about the Dorian mode, and I taught you that the Dorian mode was essentially the white notes between D and D, and I taught you about the Phrygian mode, which was the white notes between E and E, and I taught you about the Lydian mode, that was the white notes between F and F, mixed Lydian mode, G and G, Aeolian mode, A and A, and the Locrian mode, B and B. And there's one note here missing, obviously, and you might be wondering, well, why have I missed out uh, the white note scale between C and C? And the reason for that is I didn't really want to confuse you with something that you already knew. Of course, the, the white note scale between C and C looks like that, and it's a familiar thing, because, of course, the name we've now given to the mode that exists between C and C is the major scale. And the fact that this is a major scale, that the, the white note scale between C and C is the major scale, is absolutely the key to transposing modes. And it's a way that once you've learnt this little trick, you'll be able to find any mode you like. Say I asked for a G Dorian mode, so a Dorian flavour scale, but starting on a G instead of a D, which is how we've looked at it in the past. And say I wanted an A Phrygian Phrygian. And let's finally say I wanted to do a C Mixolydian. There's a really, really clever way that we can use once we know the major scales. And so I suppose a prerequisite for this lesson is that you've got a good understanding of the 12 major scales. It'd be worth going back and revising those if you don't already know them to get the most out of this lesson. But if you know that, then I'm promising you with a little bit of practice, you can find any of the modes on any note you like really, really easily. Another way we could talk about building all of these different modes is to say that essentially what we're doing is playing a C major scale, but we're starting that scale on a different note each time. So the Dorian mode is a bit like playing a C major scale, but instead of starting on C, we start on D. I used exactly the same notes that I would use in a C major scale, but I just started it on D and ended it on D. The same thing is true if I want to build um, an E Phrygian mode. Again, the E Phrygian, because it's you know it's a white note scale, uh, it's using all of the notes of C major, but we're just starting on an E instead of a C. Another way we could describe the identities of all of these modes is really in terms of thinking of them as just being a variant of a certain major scale but starting on a different scale degree. So let me just explain that because that's a little bit complicated. This Dorian mode, we've learnt it as being a white note scale between D and D. But for the purposes of this, we could think of it as a C major scale that just starts on the second scale degree. This is, a, this is our major scale starting... on the first scale degree, that's as we would normally do it, but what if we played the same notes but started on the second scale degree? That actually gives us our Dorian mode, but we're playing the Dorian mode as a kind of relation of the major scale that we probably know quite well by this point, hopefully. And the same is true of all the other modes. So E, this Phrygian mode between E and E, is a major scale but starting on the third scale degree. This Lydian mode is like a major scale but starting on the fourth scale degree. Mix Lydian the fifth, the Aeolian sixth and the Locrian seventh. So what does that mean? How, what does that actually mean to us? How can we build any mode that we like based on the fact that we know those relationships? We know that for example the Dorian mode is just like playing a major scale 
but starting on the second scale degree. Well, let's have a think about that. Let's look at this example here. We want to find a G Dorian. So that means that we're going to play a scale that starts on a G. Now, seeing as we know the relationship between a Dorian mode and the major scale, we know that actually we, we know what notes are going to be in our pool of notes to play this Dorian mode. They're actually going to be the pool of notes belonging to the major scale for which G is the second scale degree. Okay, that's a bit complicated. Let's just think very carefully about what I just said. We're looking for the major scale for which G is the second scale degree because we know that if we use the notes of our major scale where G is the second scale degree, we're going to get this Dorian scale. So do you have in mind the note? Do we, do we know where we're starting? Which major scale has G as its second scale degree? And the answer to that is F. So if we know that, if we know that G is the second scale degree, we're always going to be able to build a Dorian mode because we can just go and find that note and use the pool of notes drawn from the major scale belonging to the note just one down. So in this case, our pool of notes is going to be belong to F major because G is the second scale degree of F major. What does F major look like? It looks like this. So if we want to make this Dorian sound, if we want to make a Dorian sound starting on a G, then what we need to do is start on a G, but play all of our notes drawing from the pool of notes that is F major. And in this case, that's just all the white notes, but including a B flat. Let's have a listen to that. And there you go, we've just built a G Dorian scale. Next, we said we wanted to find an A Phrygian scale. And remembering back to C major, I'm going to refer everything back to C major to start with. We managed to make a Phrygian scale in its most simple white note form by playing the notes of C major, all the white notes, but starting on an E. So ultimately, if we know a major scale, but we don't start it on the first degree of the scale, we start it on the third degree of the scale, what we're going to get is a Phrygian mode. So this A here gives us a bit of a clue as to how we can find the pool of notes that we need to build a Phrygian scale starting on that A. Because we have to ask ourselves the question, in what scale is A the third scale degree? Can you think of that scale? It's actually one that we were just looking at, F major. It's the same. So it's the same pool of notes as before when we were looking at G Dorian. But we're now looking for Phrygian mode and we want to start on an A. So let's try and play the scale of F major but starting on this A and hopefully it will give us that Phrygian sound. And this relationship also works for all of the other modes. So Lydian, this Lydian mode, another way of thinking of the Lydian mode is playing the notes of C major but starting on the fourth scale degree, an F, and mix the Lydian is the same but starting on the fifth scale degree. So it's using the notes of C major, but starting on the fifth scale degree. And Aeolian the sixth, and Locrian the seventh. So to find our final scale that we said we wanted to find, a C mixolydian, we we'd need to be asking ourselves, which major scale has C as the fifth scale degree? Because that's what we've done here. We started with our scale of C major, but to give us the mixed Lydian sound, instead of playing between C and C, we've played between G and G, and that's what's given us the G mixed Lydian. And so can you think of the scale, the major scale that has C as its fifth scale degree? Well, again, that too is F major. So to make our C mixolydian scale, what we're going to do is take the pool of notes that we know as F major, but we're going to start and end the scale on a C. And that's what will give us 
our Mixolydian sound to the scale. <laughs> 